Hi Gemini, this is Marishi Yama Channel Shiloka. Let's see what's coming up for you guys for this week and what is the situation as of now. Gemini. This is coming up for you to know right now. Your first card is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. You are the Two of Pentacles upright. Some of you might be dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn person. Actually, we have Cups. Okay. Some of you Geminis out there might be feeling, but wait, okay? Might be exhausted in regards to a situation which is not working out. And you were deciding, you might have been trying to juggle it for some time, but now you are not waiting anymore because you realize it is over. Okay, something has ended. And uh, you, you're deciding you're not going to wait on this anymore. Emotionally, you're not going to be invested on this anymore. You tried, you did try to keep it in balance for some time to see if it might work or not. But with the first card as a Seven of Pentacles in the brass, you don't see it going anywhere. Hence, not waiting, not waiting up. Okay, even with the page of frauds, there was nothing coming through. That's why you stop waiting. Hmm? You stop waiting, getting back together. For things to get right but it just didn't seem to happen how much ever you waited how much ever you tried to keep it together it just didn't work out okay you are unhappy with how things are right now you're not liking what is happening around you what is the situation right now you you're very unhappy about it. Gemini. What else? What else does a Gemini person need to know right now? You got a magician in reverse. You have a nine of wands in reverse. Give me one more, please. Actually, this one. So Magician in Reverse and Nine of Wands. Some of you might have tried to manipulate the situation to have some kind of a change in verdict. Okay, you might have really tried. Okay, this is a Gemini card as well. Um, It's almost like the verdict has been made. Some of you might have been played by the other person. You have stopped waiting upon this because you have decided not to look back anymore. Hmm? Some of you are very adamant right now. Adamant right now to see what is out there. It's not going to be easy moving forward, but yet you're going to try. Okay? Yeah. You're going to try. What else, please, for the Gemini people out there? Nine of 
Pentacles. I'm not sure who had played who, okay? Because somebody did play with someone, like they got played by the other person. I was trying to figure out which one though. Anyways, uh, Nine of Pentacles. You're the High Priestess. You stop waiting because you're well aware of what has happened. Okay? So, yes, you've been hurt. Your heart is literally bleeding. Okay? And the person who might have played with you is still trying to approach you. But it seems like you are making the final call. Okay? Someone is deciding. Uh, you had played along enough. Now, the judgment has been passed. You have, you know, literally, um, concluded what is right for you. Okay, we're looking at two nines as well. It's almost like you're, you were on the fence of making that decision. Uh, should I try to make it work or should I just move on with my life? You know, do with something much better. Because with the nine of pentacles, I feel like you are on the single phase. After the judgment has been made, you are in the single phase. Um, some of you might be dealing with a concerning person as well. Concerning Virgo. strong energy about you might have waited you might have really waited for things to you know work out that's why after sitting and waiting when you realize things are not going anywhere things are never going to change this is how it's going to be for how many ever years you try to you know be stuck in here it's going to be the same. That's why with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, you're done with that. You're not waiting anymore because it's never going to turn. No, it's never going to be better. That is a judgment which you're making. Okay, you made a verdict. It's not worth, worth waiting. Does that make sense? There is a strong energy of you being very determined. And going with your uh, inner guidance. Hmm? Somebody is finally calling it quits. Yeah. Somebody is literally buckling up their shoes and saying, that's it. I'm ready to walk out. Yeah. Somebody is not willing to look back anymore. They don't want to look back into the past anymore. Yeah. The person who has been hurting you for so long might be still trying to make it work. Might be still trying to, you know, apologize with you with a Knight of Cups. The same person who has been hurting you is still trying their chance with you. But you have made that decision with that judgment card. And you're going to stand strong, very determined, very, um, you have that willpower to stick with your decision. Okay? Can you tell me what is this judgment card here for? Ace of Pentacles, okay, that's interesting. Yes, um, that card is all about renewal, transition, leaving the 
dead things behind and moving on, leaving the past behind and moving on. Hmm? Ace of Pentacles. Maybe some of you are being offered something much better. Or you are looking forth for something which is much better, which is much stable. Could you tell me more, please? Yes. Knight of Pentacles. You slowly move moving to, you know, outwards from your previous life or previous past. You're making that decision to move on. No. Yes, Knight of Swords. You are ending something. You literally abruptly ending something. Like putting a full stop to something in your life. And you're moving on with the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Swords is all about you're done in reverse. There's no communication. There is no movement. Nothing. Yeah. The Tower card in reverse is things might have blown out of the potion. Like things... Things got fucked up, but it's in the past. Now you're moving away from that. You just want to leave that past behind. Oh yes, because I was a little confused about this. This magician energy can be yours as well. Who is deciding to move on? You're being uh, the person who's taking up, you know, that energy of I will do whatever I got to do. Whatever it takes, I will do it. That kind of a way. Um, strong will energy. What is this magician in reverse here for? Could you tell me? Page of Cups. Hmm. It's the other person. It was a literal player who manipulated everything, okay? Who was naive? Who... Give me one more card, please. Or it could be you as well, who was naive in the situation and things came out you got aware of whatever was happening, whoever you were dealing with, whatever they were doing behind your back, you, you got, it came out in the light, as simple as that, okay? And, uh, yeah, well, whatever was going on in this relationship had come to light. And you're realizing what needs to be done, okay? how it got to be in the future. You're making, you're making uh, things end between a partnership. Any advice for the Gemini people out there? Again, hangman, have a card in reverse. Give me one more card, please. Five cups. Okay. Your advice is um, don't cry over spilled milk. Okay. Focus on what is out there. What you might be able to achieve. Don't look at things which has already spilled out. You know, which you've already lost. Because you are hanging in there after the tower has happened. Okay. Because tower can't in reverse. And temperance, it is still affecting your, um, it's, it's putting you um, in this imbalance. It's affecting your mindset. You know, you can't think straight. Things are just out of balance after that huge impact has, you know, come in your life with this tower card. They are asking you to, you know, focus on things which is better. Don't look back and cry over sweat milk anymore. It's, it's just not worth it. That's it for now. 
This is Marjorie on my channel for Lugger and the next week. Bye bye.